Hi Matrix, welcome again. We are carrying on with our memo from 2019, paper one, the National Senior Certificate. Um, last time we did question seven, which was a calculus question. Uh, question eight is a calculus one as well. We generally have two calculus questions in the paper, so that's always good because if you're doing calculus and you don't know what's going on in the question, and you want at least to get some marks, find the derivative and make it equal to zero. Especially if it says find the maximum because you're gonna get marks, method marks just for doing that. So um, that's a little exam tip. Now, that says after a short distance, an insect came to rest on a wall there after the insect started crawling on the wall. The path that the insect crawled can be described by the function ht equals etc where H is the height and above the floor and T is the time in minutes since the insect started crawling. So the first question says, at what height above the floor did the insect start to crawl? Well, it would have started when the time began, which is when T is zero. So all we do is we simply substitute in zero for T. So H of zero equals zero minus six negative two times zero squared plus three times zero minus six equals and we get those are all zero so you get minus six times minus six which is 36 therefore it's 36 and the time is in minutes right 8.2 how many times did the insect reached the floor. Okay, so that means where h is zero, because that's when it when it touched the floor. So what we can do is we can say zero equals t minus six, and then negative two t squared plus three t minus six. Now they don't want to know when it touched the floor. We know the first time it touched the floor will be at six minutes because t minus six equals zero. So then it would be t equals six. So that would be the first time. Now this here, we don't, they just want to know how many times. So we know it's once. We just want to find out, is this going to give us real numbers? Can we work out these numbers? And if we can, and then we know that it's going to be uh, three times. So if you get, uh, unless you get, of course, negative values for T. So it's a three mark question. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first see if I can factorize it. And by doing that, I'm just gonna test the roots. You could try and, another way is you could try and factorize this using your quadratic equation. Um, or you even put it in your silver calculator and you would see whether you get an answer right. Uh, but to, I'm going to save time. So you know, we know that delta equals b squared minus 4ac. So b is negative, uh, b, b is 2, so it'll be uh, 3 squared minus 4, and a is negative 2, and c is negative six and I get nine minus two times 12 is, two times six is 12 times four is 48, minus 48. And we get uh, delta is a negative, right? Negative uh, 39. And that, so delta is less than zero, therefore it's not real, non-real roots. So we, we are not going to get an answer. So this is the quickest way. The other way would have been just to try and factorize and you, wouldn't, it would, you, you would have not been able to. And so therefore it's just once. Once. Okay. 8.3. Determine the maximum height. Well, 
as I said earlier, when you are dealing with derivatives, at some point you're going to have to, I mean, calculus, at some point you're going to have to find that derivative. And especially if you see maximum, because when it says maximum height, that means find the derivative and make it equal to zero. So to get this derivative, first of all, I'm going to have to make it a little bit simpler to derive. So I'm going to say h of t equals, and I'm going to have to times everything out. This is going to take a little bit of time, but it's four marks. So, and it's hopefully fairly easy marks as long as you don't make any mistakes. Okay, so t times minus two squared is negative two t cubed. T times 3t is 3t squared. t times minus 6 is minus 6t. Okay, I'm going to do this in different colors so that you can follow what I'm doing. Negative 6 times negative 2 is positive 12t squared. Negative 6 times 3t is negative 18t. Negative 6 times negative 6 is plus 36. And that's a good test to make sure in 8.1 we did indeed get the answer right. Okay, so now we sum it all up. It's negative 2t cubed. I need to put the squares in, didn't I? Uh, plus 3t squared. I was just saying, don't make a mistake. Um, and plus 12t squared. Let's just make sure I didn't make any other errors. 18t uh, is right. Negative 6t is right. Okay. Plus 15t squared minus 24t plus 36. Okay, now that's h of t. And now we simply say h dash of t because that is the derivative and we make that equal to zero later. Negative 6t to the uh, squared uh, plus 30t minus 24. Okay, and we make that equal to zero. Um, now, what I'm going to do is just divide it through by, well, I'll divide it through later by 6. Okay, to make it easy, I'm going to divide through by 6. I'm actually divide through, I'm going to divide through by negative 6. So I get t squared minus 5t plus, 20, plus 4. Okay, and that gives me t minus 4t minus 1. Determine the maximum height. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I know that those are the two values. I'm going to test to see which of these values, t equals 4 and t equals 1, to, and I'm going to sub that in to this formula here. There is another way, but um, to actually draw the graph, um, but I'm going to show you that another time, I think. Or well, maybe I'll show you after, after we just sub it in. Um, so we have to sub these fours into the original. So negative two, this is 8.3 continued. Uh, negative two times one cubed plus three to the one squared minus six to the one. Uh, it's 15, isn't it? 15, 1 squared minus 24 times 1 plus 36. Um, and so that gives me negative 1, uh, sorry, negative 2 uh, plus 15 minus 24 plus 36. And that gives me 51 minus 26 is 25. Okay, now I'm going to try with uh, four. And I'm just 
to save time, I'm going to just do the fours in here in pink and then put the answers in pink below. Okay, because you'll put it in your calculator. Uh, four cubed is 64, so that's negative 28. Sorry, negative 128. Uh, four squared is uh, 16. 15 times 16 is 240. Uh, negative 24 is negative 92 plus 36. Okay, and so let's just make sure we don't make a mistake here. Negative 128 minus 92 plus 240 plus 56. Okay, so the maximum height is 56. Okay, um, do that in white. And it's in centimeters. Okay, let's just do it in pink. Okay. A bit squashed. Um, so let's just, uh, the final answer there was 56 centimeters. Now, what we can do is this graph here is a cubic function. So this would have been the quick way, but it's, um, it's just, I'm sorry, the, uh, yeah, it would have been the quick way, but it's just not everyone understands it. Um, basically what we're looking for, a cubic graph either looks like this in purple, or like this, the one in green. So if you look at the um, T cubed, okay, that tells you where it's going from, um, from the negative side. So if this is negative and T, let's put it this way, say T um, was a million. Well, a million cubed is going to be the biggest number of all of these three. And so if it's negative, that means that when T is getting to the maximum, you're having a very small uh, number. So you're actually looking at the green graph over here. So here, negative two T cubed. Right, so when T approaches this very large number, um, if you don't understand any of this, it's not too bad. You can just um, do it the simpler way and skip the video, but um, it is always good to understand these questions. So as T gets to a very, very large number, say a million, uh, that the height becomes a very small number because you've got negative T cubed negative 2t cubed. So as t approaches the infinity, you get a very small number. And so you end up with this, um, this graph. And so when we look at our values, one and four, we know that one will be here and four will be here. And so at one, we've got a local minimum. A local minimum mean, meaning it's smaller than the numbers either side of it but it's not, a, not an absolute minimum because the absolute minimum is going to be negative infinity as this goes all the way down. And you, the maximum is always kind of a positive infinity. And you have a local maximum at four. So that would be where you have a maximum height. If it had been positive T cubed, then think about when, as t approaches infinity, so as your time goes all the way along at the very end, so it's going towards infinity. Well, let's say it's a million. So positive t to the million is a very, very, very big number. And so as t goes to infinity, this number goes all the way up. And so we would have our minimum at four and our maximum at one. 
but as it stands, we had our maximum at four. So hope that makes sense. Um, if not, you can just substitute those two values in and see which is smaller. But we see that we had a minimum at four. So this was our maximum. So we would just substitute four in there. I'll just actually do that in pink because that's actually the thing that we did. We said it was four. And when we substituted in four, we got our height of 56. So when T was four, this value, this value here was 56 centimeters. Okay, that last uh, explanation might have taken a little bit of time. Um, if you still don't understand, check out my videos on calculus and that should help you a little bit more. Um, I'll see you again soon for question nine.